Hey, what's going on everyone? Sly here with Flo. And we got the news uh, this morning, as of Friday, that Trent Williams will be playing um, in the season finale against the Rams. I know a lot of fans right now, they're pretty pissed off about what's going on. Why is he playing, you know? Uh, it doesn't make sense. Last week uh, of the season, and there's a lot of strong uh, opinions out there. But I'll go with you and hear what you have to say, and then I'll give my thoughts. Yeah, man. Well, obviously, I'm guessing Trent Williams signed off for this because I'm pretty sure he had the option to play or not. I'm not a big fan of him playing because obviously I don't want him to get hurt before. But maybe it's just going to be like a series of two a la preseason style. Just get him out there, move in. But it's risky because this guy's been hurt this year. Yeah. We we lost when we when he was out, man. We looked horrible. If that were to happen to us, if he got hurt at this last game of the season, I think that would pretty much crush our playoff chances because essentially him and Aaron Banks, those are our only two guys on the offensive line who are consistent. Obviously, Trent Williams is just elite. But so if we were to lose him in a freaking pretty much meaningless game, that would be rough. But what do you think, man? Yeah, that's initially it was my thought. Right away, that's exactly where I went to. But then I had to look at it from the coach's point of view. And here's the coach's point of view. And here's pretty much, I think, the big picture. So you have 50, was it, 53 guys on the roster, 47 dress. If you have that extra quarterback, you get an extra guy. So 48. Now, right now, what do we have? Offensive linemen. We have nine offensive linemen. And remember last week, uh, two weeks ago, we only had eight offensive linemen. We brought back prior because uh, look what happened to all our other guys. Look at So check this out. Aaron Banks, dealing with a turf toe. He's not going to play at all. You have Jalen Moore dealing with a concussion. He's not going to play. So we're down to seven right there. That's seven offensive linemen. You don't play Trent Williams, you get down to six offensive linemen for the game. I get it. This game doesn't mean nothing, but... You do not want a tight end out there <laughs> blocking <laughs> at the end. Yeah, exactly. You don't want Tyler Croft. I don't care who it is. You just don't want to get our dudes killed. Poor Sam Darnold. As much as I'm not the biggest fan of Sam Darnold, that's D's boy. I do not want a tight end going up against them. So that's where it's coming from, you know. And right now, Kyle Shanahan at the beginning of the week, he said it best. Um, you have to play dudes. Like, you can't start cutting dudes and then bringing new guys up. It just doesn't happen, you know? So that's where it's um, going. That's why he's going to play. It, it sucks. To me, personally, it doesn't make sense that you only get to dress 47. You only have 53 guys on the roster. You add in an extra game. Now we have, what, 17 games. They want to add another game. So that's going to be 18. If they've got to change the rule where it's a 60-man roster, like 60 guys dress up, um, 64. Five, uh, you have what five, six inactive, something like that. You have to change the rules because it's a sport where you really you can't rest a lot of your guys. You know you have to go out there and play them. It's not like preseason where it's ninety dudes out there uh, going, so you know the starters aren't going to be playing all that. So there's going to be some starters out there that are going to play. And the fact that there are so many still injuries out there, that's what's that's the that's the thing that sucks. You know there's injuries out there, so so many other dudes are going to have to. Um, pretty much uh, they're gonna have to play these guys are gonna have to play you know um if it were me i'd go with guys that are straight up injured it looks like injured i would not play dre greenlaw um because i think we're fine at the linebacker spot we got those young guys out there jalen graham d winters who need to get their shots you have what's flanagan fouls and then oh, yeah Oren burke so you have like four, that's four linebackers right there um, the starters, Fred Warner, uh, Dre Greenlaw should not be playing. Unfortunately, with uh, Trent Williams, you had to have five offensive linemen, and there's not that much depth behind that. Remember against the Ravens, what happened? We were down to our last five offensive linemen. So if one more dude would have got hurt, Dude, that would have been, and that's why Brock Purdy didn't go back in the game because Kyle Shanahan said, "Dude, this is our last guy. We're like, we're down to our scraps right now, and so you have, you have, you can't be playing." And that was just, that was smart of Kyle. I know people out there um, that I do not want to name were saying he got benched, he got benched, <laughs> like Brock Purdy got benched, just baloney. I can't even believe it. Sam Darnold just, he's not coming back. Like, what's going on? Quarterback controversy. I was like, really, dude? Like, calm down, man. Like, what are you talking about? So that's the mindset. I know why um, he's going to play. And I know people are freaking out um, when they heard that. Um, who was it? John Lynch was on KNBR this morning talking about he's going to play. And then you saw on Twitter, everyone's going crazy. Like, no way. Wait, how, why is he going to play? And I get it, man. 
Like it's such a tough situation to be in. So maybe play him for like a series and have the uh, bench come out and pray that no one gets hurt because then he would have to force to come back in the game. And we don't want that, especially for a meaningless preseason game, which um, again, I think maybe the NFL, which they should do is that at least the last week of the season have at least um, uh, 53 able to play, you know, because it's just a lot of these games, uh, they are meaningless to these people and they don't want the starters out there uh, getting hurt because it's just, it's pointless, man. But yeah, what do you think? Yeah, man, it's pretty much, it reminds me of, the NFL is kind of trying to do opposite what the NBA does, where they're yeah. trying to keep these people from doing that rest management, mm -hmm. which makes sense because sometimes the NBA games do suck because mm -hmm. you don't see these star players playing and you pay money because there's mm -hmm. still going to be a lot of fans that go to the game. Yeah. Niner fans, best fans in the world, they're going to be there. So they're going to want to watch, want to see some people. And then, so if you were to go to a game, I would be a little bit upset if nobody played at all. But at the same time, sometimes you got to be like, hey, I just want my guys to be healthy for a playoff run. So we understand it where they, like, mm -hmm. hey, let's try to get as much rest as possible. But yeah, as long as our main guys, like you said, our linebacking core gets a rest, Christian McCaffrey gets that rest. Um, the Debo, well, how, how's Debo's situation? They're saying what I'm hearing is Debo said when he was on the K Adams show that he expects to play. He expects yeah, to play so quite a bit, that and yeah, yeah, he wants to get that thousand. Yeah. So he's about 130 something yards away from it. So that really, he wants to get that too. So yeah, that so like yeah, Debo be going, mm -hmm. and yeah, might as well go get his thousand yards. And Debo, for the most part, has been fairly healthy this year, so. Let him roll with it, but yeah, I I see now you explain it that way. Yeah, it makes sense at Trent Williams, but hopefully it's just a few series. That he's yeah, there, hopefully just... it's a few series and no one gets hurt, man. Like, cause if our backups get hurt, it just sucks having to bring them back in. And I get it, I get. And Kyle Shanahan does make sense because he said, okay, guys, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna be practicing like hard, hard, hard because we have that extra week. And we're just going to be going. It's not like these other coaches. Remember who remembers Dallas Cowboys when they had the number one seed? You saw Tony Romo, Jason Wynn. They were out in Cabo with Jessica Simpson and the, um, Jason Wynn's wife. They're out doing their thing. And then you had, um, remember Odell Beckham, the Giants. They were out on the, in the cruise ship, the boat. And there's a rumor out there right now going on that um, Odell Beckham did rent a yacht. For, so I'm like, dude, if that happened, man, go, yo, Odell, go do your thing, man. Go, go enjoy party and uh, whatever John Harbaugh says, you can take a week off. Go take a week off, man. But Kyle Shanahan, he says, hell no, man. This week, um, during the bye week, we are going to be practicing. We're not going to be getting away, going on a vacation. Which I think that's smart. That's smart right there. To, stay that he's, focused. Stay focused. No, be you know, just because you have a rest, be all la lazy, fair about it. Nah, man, you got to go out there, still continue to practice, go hard, and that's what we're hearing that um brock purdy even though he's not playing he was taking a lot of the first team reps so that right there is smart too he can't be lazy all of a sudden oh he's not going to be practicing this week oh he's not going to be practicing during the bye week no nah, man taking those first team reps and that right there i think practice is huge i know a lot of people during the when we do the training camp videos they're like oh these are just practices like no they're not these are way more important than you think man this decides who's going to make the team who's not going to make the team who's going to be the first string who's not going to be the first who's going to be the second third who's going to get cut so i mean these practices are golden and i'm glad that they're still going to stay here and not going to be going to cabo with uh, tony romo and jessica yeah obviously practices mean a lot because even alan mm -hmm. iverson as great as he was what did yeah, he say that was one thing practice talk about practice and that might have been the reason he never won a championship mm -hmm. so i mean that's what it is. It's just, I just can't wait. And I just, I love the blueprint, which what Kyle's doing about this whole practice thing. And I get it, man. Fans are frustrated. I'm upset that Trent has to play, but it just makes like, it just makes sense because you, there's nothing else you could do, man. You're not going to have the water boy playing left tackle uh, during the game. And um, hopefully NFL, that, that's the one thing they got to do. They got to change this rule because it's, it's weird. It's not good. All right. Well, you guys let us know what you guys think about Trent Williams suiting up. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.